So what I'm going to start to do, what I'm going to start to do is, I have to get this aligned right, so exactly where it was, and I have to put a, I have to put a mark. I have to put a mark somewhere on the frame up here to give me some sort of location of where the mirror was and the angle of the mirror and how far I have to move over to the left and drill holes. And I'm probably going to have to loosen up the tube also. So. Okay, next, I'm going to have to take out the old combiner, put the new combiner back in. <clears throat> now, I'm going to try to relocate that same angle. Now, okay guys, this is what I have so far. I got it perfectly straight on that line between the two holes. I had the new beam combiner bracket on there and it lined up with that mark that I put on there in the beginning. So what I have to do now is mark these holes well, I have to drill them. This is going to be very exciting, let me tell you what. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to drill and tap this out for a 3 millimeter screw. So, here we go. That's one. Well, there's nothing behind there to hit. <laughs> okay, now we're going to take a three millimeter tap and we're going to tap these out. Glad it's nice and thick so there's some meat in there to grab onto. Okay, there's one. The second one. <clears throat> now, let's see how well we did on this. We'll take this and center them up in the holes. Hmm, looks good to me.
get my fat fingers in there. Okay, so I'm just going to leave these right in the center for right now. Snug them up nice. Okay, now that supposedly was the easy part. Okay, so I have these snugged down. Now I'm going to take the bean combiner and I'm going to set it in here and put it all the way to the bottom. Okay, the next thing I have to do is I have to take out the 45 degree angle red dot and here we go. So it just takes one little screw. Okay, and that comes right out. Now, cut a tie wrap. There we go. Now, I know for a fact that this is just not going to go through there. And I am not going to take apart this snake thing, wire track, just to get that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip it. Hold your breath. Yep, two wire snipped. We're good. Now, we have another tie wrap down here that we have to snip. Okay. Now we can actually see the wire that we have to pull, which is this one. I'm pretty, yep, that's the one. So we're pulling it all out. Straighten it out, make it a little easier, maybe. And I'm sure it's not going to be that easy. But we'll work at it and we'll get it. And there it is, simple and easy. Now, I have to get it to the back of the machine. And this wire is long enough really to go through there for right now. Okay guys, here we go. What I did is I took the wires out from inside the laser and brought them out and I actually cut off the end of the original combiner somewhere wherever I put it's right here and uh, it's just too small it's just too small so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the new one which is right here and it's got a better case on
Okay, guys, what I have here is a Cloudway laser red dot bracket, which I need to put three more holes and tapped holes in there because the one hole that holds the red dot just doesn't hold it well enough so it wobbles a lot. So what I'm going to do is drill and tap three holes. Okay, here we go. I've already found center this way. Now I just got to bring it over to find center on the lengthwise. And there we go. I'm using a center drill so I can get a good centered hole in the piece. I'm going to take a 764th drill bit. We're going to drill all the way through so we can drill through two holes at once. We just drilled through two holes at once, so now we've only got to drill one more hole. Now I'm going to take a number three tap and hopefully I don't snap the tap. <laughs> it's not the first time that's happened. Put a little spray on it. What I like to do is bring it down, start it by hand. And once it's started, what I like to do is start the tap by hand with the chuck. That way you know the tap is straight. Then you unloosen it. Use a tap handle, tighten it down, start tapping it. And you pretty much know it's all the way through. It's getting there. So we'll just finish it. Doesn't take much once it gets started. And there you go. And we will repeat the process for three other holes. Okay guys, here is the 
cloud ray beam combined beam combiner red dot mounting bracket um, it came only with one hole and I proceeded to put a threaded holes in all four corners so we'll start with the original one screw it in so it comes just through the hole just like that and then we'll put the new ones in Okay, there you have it. All four corners will have it a threaded stop, so that'll help the the red dot stay true. Okay, here we have the cloud ray red dot laser mount bracket that we're going to install it now. So we have to take the nuts off. Okay, now we have to reinstall the bracket the same way that it went on. I'll come up just a little bit so it catches the spring. Give it a little bit of tension on both all three ends. Now, <clears throat> here's where we take our movement standard, which we have to turn the power on. Okay, now you have your laser. Now what we have to do, we have to put it back inside here, inside through the hole.
and I'm going to put it just about like so, flush. We'll start screwing down the holes. And we'll start tightening down this expand the all three screws. Or all four screws, excuse me. Now What I'm trying to do, if you look through here, you can look through the gate, you can see a piece of tape that's taped to the expander, which is actually, there's a burn hole through it. I have to match up this laser dot to that hole. So here's where the trouble begins. <laughs> 